Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa, if you are new here, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe. I am trying to be in the habit or get in the habit of posting at least once a week throughout the month of January, which I have already failed to, to do because it is now the second week of January and I still haven't posted a video for the first week, but that just means that this week I will be doubling up. I'm gonna take you guys along with me throughout today. I feel like the second week of the month, or yeah, this is the second week of start of the new year. Yeah, the first week, I talked to a few of my friends last week who have corporate jobs, who also had felt the same way about last week that it just was a drag, you know? It just, it was like we all needed a break from the holiday break because the holidays were a lot this year and according to a lot of people that I've spoken to that I know personally that I don't even know personally it just was a, a hectic holiday season and honestly not the best one for a lot of people but anyway I feel like this week is the official first week of the month that's just how I feel last week was a drag last week we started off with Monday being a holiday and it was just kind of like a weird week uh, so this week I feel like most people are back in office with my job too a lot of brands were still out of office last week so campaigns and everything like that have been so much slower because we really stopped like getting new campaigns in probably like the second or so week of December. Yeah, I think it was around the second week of December. So anything that was just like already set in stone for December was finished probably like before Christmas really. And ever since then, especially throughout like the last week in December, first week of January, things have just been like pretty slow, which I'm definitely not complaining because November and December were my two busiest months and I didn't take the time that I wish I did to sit down and like actually relax and enjoy the holiday season, especially when I was at home with my family. So I am totally fine with January being like slow as of right now because I know it's going to pick back up again. Winter is oftentimes like a slower season and I'm really just trying to embrace it, although it's like different being in Florida, but I, when I have the chance to take it slow and be still, I am trying to be more mindful of that. Although like naturally I do like being active and like doing things like, like staying busy um, and productive, but I also do really appreciate like the stillness and slowness. So like having slower mornings, not being hard on myself. Like this morning I wanted to wake up at 4 a.m. And I was just like, you know what? I think I need more sleep. I'm just going to sleep until my body like naturally wakes up. And for me that was like literally minutes before 7 o'clock. I'm trying to be more mindful and intentional throughout every single day and just listening to the cues that my body is sending me. I really don't know what today is going to end up looking like because... I have like my loose plan as I always do, but who knows what will pop up, who knows what will happen. So I guess we'll see where the day takes us. I'm hesitant to even say this, but my skin has been looking so good. The past couple of weeks and by a couple of weeks i want to say probably about like two and a half or two weeks now you might have heard me talk about this before but i started to be like i started cracking down on the products that i was using and purchasing and have been only using per or have only been purchasing and using products that are non-comodo comodogenic comodogenic is that how you say it? Uh, Non-pore clogging. And I basically put the ingredients for each of the products that I have into, or like am looking to purchase, into an ingredients checker list on ClearStem. And 
it might not be like 100% perfect or 100% accurate all the time, but all the products that I'm using say, based on that checker, that they are free of pore clogging ingredients, which I'm just putting my full faith and trust in. But that's just been something that I've been implementing and being conscious of throughout the past, I don't know, it's been like probably about four or five months now since I like first started doing that whole like research and deep dive. And I definitely don't regret it because I mean, in my opinion, if I can avoid putting pore clogging ingredients on my face, like more so skincare, I haven't done that with makeup yet. But if I can avoid it at all costs, I'm gonna do it. I don't think that is necessarily why my skin has been so good though. Um, I do think that the routine that I have is really great and my skin has been loving my routine, <clears throat> which my routine really doesn't change often. Some of the products change in terms of the brand. The basics are the basics and they stay the same, but a couple of weeks ago, I had this like random thought come over me where I don't know how I even thought about it, but one day I was just thinking about eggs and how I eat eggs literally every single day and have been for, I don't even know how long, it's been a very long time. And this thought just came over me where it was like, you need to stop eating eggs. Like that is contributing to your bad skin. So I stopped buying eggs. I haven't been eating eggs every day in weeks now. And I really do think that that is potentially why my skin is looking so good. Um, among a lot of other things as well. But I really do think that the eggs was causing like some sort of like some an allergy. Like maybe I have an allergy or something because my skin has been looking so much more calm and tame, so I don't know. I don't know. I had that random feeling and I went with it. That's not to say that I've cut out eggs entirely. I just don't buy them and make them at home and I rarely eat out for breakfast. So if I do eat out for breakfast though, like every once in a blue moon, I'll go and get a breakfast sandwich and the breakfast sandwich will typically have egg on it, but I'm not like strict about that but i was just excessively eating them so i don't know my skin has been looking so good and i'm very happy with it i've been taking extra care of it and i've been loving the products i've been using and where my skin is at so really happy about that i just recorded a tiktok where i was saying today feels like the most monday monday ever and it really does like the energy is low today but it's also definitely a reflection of what it's looking like outside right now because it is just gloom and doom. Gloomy and uh, according to my boyfriend, he said it is quite chilly out outside. Um, it also looks rather windy. So it'll actually be nice to be outside and like feel the fresh air. I hope it's fresh anyway. Uh, but I'm just not feeling the vibes today, if you know what I mean. So that's the kind of day that it is. But it's still gonna be a good day, okay? Uh, this is the outfit and I guess the makeup. I'm not like, on a Monday when it feels extra like a Monday, like the hair is just not giving, the everything is just not giving like 100%. Like if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. The hair is extra annoying. Everything is extra annoying, but it's fine, it's fine. So the outfit for today is very casual because we want to be comfy and cozy on a Monday Monday, you know? So we're going with the pops of red, keeping it super, super easy. Nothing crazy up in here. And uh, I guess I'm going to go out and do a little bit of work at a coffee shop, get another coffee. Um, and at this point, I am quite hungry. So... I might need to eat a little something, something before I head out, but that's what's next on the agenda. It's like 9.30. Also on a Monday, like on a Monday, Monday, it takes extra long to just do anything. The vibes are slow and 
that's the kind of vibe that today's giving. But I think I did say earlier, it is winter. If I did not say this earlier, I'm saying it now. It is winter, and in the winter, you are supposed to chill out a little bit, be a little bit extra slow, and that's fine. Let your body do as it needs. So that is not an excuse, though, to be lazy. We are not being lazy but it is okay to slow down. So as it turns out, the place that I wanted to go to isn't even open today. So that definitely narrows down my options. I think I'm just gonna go to my go-to spot, which is flatbread and butter. It is so easy, very close to my house, and it is always so chill there. So that's just where I'm gonna go. It feels like rain today. It feels like rain. Also, my camera battery is about to die, but I'll switch to my phone. Came to Flatbread and Butter, and I just got a cold brew with a splash of almond milk. Their cold brew is really good. Highly would recommend, but I am just going to go home. I feel like... Today is not the day to necessarily be sitting at a coffee shop. I feel like I want to be cozy at home. So we're going to go home instead and work from there until I go to work out at 12 o'clock. I hope this isn't too shaky, but I'm going to try and keep it as steady as possible. But I know that this camera, let me just put it down. My camera doesn't have an automatic stabilizer in it, which is one of the reasons why I would never recommend this camera. And that's why I do not like this camera. But I just got done doing all of, like my scheduling for the day, which is what I do like every single morning up until like 12 o'clock. That's what I do in between then, emails, scheduling, all that stuff, getting my day set up for a successful day. And then it's like routine. And then now I'm on my walking pad. I'm gonna do like probably 30 or so minutes on the walking pad. 35 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that. And then I'm going to work out class at 12. And yeah, so right now I'm going to, on my walk, walking pad, get in like all of my work that I can do on my phone. So that's what I'll be doing for like the next 30 or so minutes. to happen that could have gone so much worse uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> oh my god i knew that was gonna happen I might somewhat regret this decision, but it's what I think I've got to do. I truthfully still haven't had a proper breakfast. I literally had a scoop of peanut butter to hold me over. Uh, that was my bad. Um, should have planned more effectively, but I did it. So here we are. It's 11.30. I have a workout class at 12. Um... Probably I'm going to regret this, but I am going to, maybe I will have like a small plate. I'm going to heat up some food right now because if I work out on an empty stomach, like I can work out on an empty stomach when I wake up and go to work out like not long after waking up, but it's been hours since I've been awake and I can't do that to myself. Then, also, after my workout class, I'm going to Vitality Wellness Center, where I think I talked about and gave the whole spiel about Vitality in my last video, but I'm going there right from working out for 1 o'clock. My workout class will end at 12.45. At 1 o'clock, I'm going to the wellness center, and I'll be at the wellness center from 1 until, I think, 3, no, 1 to 1.30, 1 1.30 to 2, 2 to 2.30. I'll be at the wellness center until 2.30. So, if I don't eat up until I get home after that, I'm going to be miserable. 
one and just exhausted two and i'm doing today pemf to start that's not bad but then from there i'm going into the sauna and from the sauna i'm doing contrast which is just like hot and cold water so a cold plunge and then like go into a hot tub afterwards or like before whatever so anyway those are the appointments that i have lined up for today and um I know especially going in the sauna, if I don't eat, I will be regretting my decision at that point. I just packed my bag for the wellness center. I've got a sweatsuit to change into after doing contrast because I'm wearing an activewear set that I don't wanna do. I don't think I wanna plunge in this, but we'll see. I have my swimsuit. I think I'm gonna plunge in the swimsuit. I'll go in the sauna in my workout set, that's fine but I think I'm gonna plunge in the swimsuit. I have a pair of flip-flops for afterwards, and then my iPad, my laptop, my journal, and my Kindle um, to get some work done while I'm there and also read. I like to kill as many birds with one stone as possible, so going to this wellness center allows me to work while I'm there and also do some other healthy habits while I'm literally doing the healthy habits of going to the wellness center and like doing these interesting appointments that I've been doing. So I've been keeping up with this. I've been there every day since I joined, except for they were closed on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So I've gone every single day and I'm tracking what I'm doing every single day that I go to the wellness center so that I can kind of like formulate a like regimen or whatever um, so that I could keep up with that routinely and that I'm not like overdoing it in any specific area. This is like, I think I explained this in my last video, but this is all just like pretty experimental for me and fun and I'm very, very grateful that I am able to do these things. Um, I am paying for this with my own money. And like I said, I'm just grateful to have like the money to be able to do these things. It's experimental, it's fun, it's, I've always, been the type of person where like investing in my health and well-being whether it's physical time or money you don't need the money to invest in your health and well-being you don't need to do all these fancy things that you see on tiktok or the internet or what other people are doing to kickstart your health and wellness journey by no means do you need any of this and i am a strong freaking advocate for that because my health and wellness journey dates back to probably like around my freshman year in high school. I mean, I've always been active and an athlete since I was a little kid, but really getting into like health and nutrition and meditation and journaling, that all stems back from when I was in high school. And I could, you know, go into that maybe like a podcast episode one day, but um, all of the things that I was doing at that time were basically free things that I was doing with what I had access to or what I was able to do at that period in my life because that period in my life was honestly like busier probably than now because with sports and everything you I feel like you're just gone from the minute you wake up and go to school till till the evening when you come home like that's what life was like back in high school and even in college too and then having jobs and stuff like that on top of it so anyway I just want to like stress that like I am a huge advocate for doing what you can with what you have it can all literally be free and stuff that you do at home you do not need to spend money on any of these things that you may see on tiktok or instagram or whatever it is you do not need to you could do shit at home with literally body weight body weight exercises you could do um, a cold plunge for your face with ice water that's like extremely effective and gets the job done um, the same sort of like it depends on what you're using the cold plunge for specifically but if you're using it what I do it for it's like mainly for mental health and practicing like slowing down focusing on your breath um, and putting myself in like an uncomfortable difficult position and learning how to deal with that um, discomfort that's why I plunge but it has so many other benefits as well um, 
but you could also I did this back in my last house fill up a bathtub with get like a case of bottled water put it in the freezer and just reuse the bottled water that turns into ice when you put it in the freezer obviously and just dump that whole case of water into not dump the case of water but like once the ice has frozen or once the water has frozen into ice then put those bottles of water in the tub and there you go you have a cold plunge so it still gets the job done it's maybe not as cold as going to a creek and doing it in a creek or doing it in like an actual plunge tub but it does get the job done so i just wanted to preface that because although i am paying the money to do this stuff it's just for fun for me it's like taking it like many notches up I've been doing the same shit for how long and like I love to just challenge myself and try new things like I look at myself as a guinea pig for shit like this and I love to just see like what I could push my body to do like what new boundaries I can push what new limits I could get to what discomfort level I could get to like I just really do enjoy all of that stuff and it's challenging and I love a good challenge so I'm very thankful to be able to do that but again it is by no means by no means necessary and I also want to say I do not condone skipping meals never do I condone skipping meals whatsoever although I'm eating my like breakfast later you best believe I will get enough food in I will probably come home and eat more of this after my appointments like around 2 45 when I get home I'll probably eat more of this and then I will also have dinner. I'm getting three meals a day and listening to my body, of course, though, if it's hungry, it's hungry. If it's not, it's not. But I do not condone skipping meals. Never. Here is the workout set of the day. I've been wearing this literally at least once a week, if not more, um, since I got it a few weeks ago or maybe at this point it's been a couple of months, but it's this navy blue aloe workout sets, two of my favorite, um, what you call it, lines, I guess. Like this is the airlift collection, or I guess you'd say collection, uh, for leggings and for sports bras. So I wear this a shit ton, wash it a shit ton. Aloe is so worth the price in my opinion for the quality. Um, it just lasts years and I've been a long time aloe purchaser since I was like a freshman in college I think is when I asked for my first pair of aloe leggings and I think I still literally have them so anyway there's specific pieces that you want to invest in and other pieces that aren't worth the investment at different stores and even the case with aloe so maybe I should do a TikTok on that one day like what's worth the investment what's not that would be a good video anyway I'm literally all aloed out. I'm wearing this navy blue set. I have on these New Balances. I think these are the 530 sneakers. They're like a silver, white, and navy. And then this aloe hoodie, my aloe trucker hat. Let's go work out. Was definitely not an easy class not nert not the hardest class ever last week was so tough um, so it wasn't too bad but I was really worried about how I just like scarfed down a bunch of food right before going to class and it turned out to be not too bad but I think that's what made it ten times worse if I didn't I mean if I didn't eat I'd probably be like nauseous right now or um, dizzy I'd be dizzy so I'm glad I ate because now I can go to my appointments and not be hangry but let's head on over to Vitality and I think my first appointment it's 1243 my first appointment starts at one o'clock
got my journal and my Kindle to read my book. around 3 30. I started off with PEMF um, which is electromagnetic like it sends electromagnetic currents through your body. I'm not going to sit here and explain every single one of these and the benefits to using them. That is what Google is your best friend for that information um, and I also am still just like learning what it's doing for my body and that will definitely just take probably a few months of doing this routinely to kind of understand what it's doing for my body because although there's like a laundry list of benefits to each of the things that this wellness center offers it will likely um benefit people in different ways especially if you know people have specific health issues or i don't know it will just benefit people in different ways um, people will focus on different things more so than others, especially if they're trying to target specific things and like doing therapy for specific things. You guys get the gist. So for PEMF, I did that first 30 minutes and that is literally sending electromagnetic currents through your body. You can't sit there and be on your phone while you're doing that because they've said that it literally will destroy your phone if you are sitting there on it. So no phone for that. Then I went into the sauna, did that for about like 25 minutes. Um, the time was starting to overlap, so I needed to get out of there a little bit quicker. Um, so I went in for about 25 minutes. I did journaling and read some of my book while I was in there. And then after that, I did the cold plunge and the hot tub. And for that, I just did like two minutes in the hot tub, one minute in the cold plunge, two minutes in the hot tub, one minute in the cold plunge, blah, blah, I did the cold plunge for a total of three minutes, just in different intervals. Normally, I would get in there and sit in there for three minutes, but the guy who was working today told me that right after a workout, doing the cold plunge directly after a workout, um could like lessen the benefits of like the workout that I just got in if that makes sense so he said it's best to usually like wait to do a cold plunge and sit in the cold plunge for several minutes um several hours before or after doing a workout so I just did the intervals today and then he wanted me to try out the um float therapy the sound bath which is what I did yesterday that was like the first time that I did it was yesterday and it's basically basically this egg as you guys would have seen it's just a shit ton and I mean like probably gallons and gallons and gallons of salt so it's salt water that you're laying in and then the salt helps you float so it's I think it's a separate sensory deprivation tank so you can look up more about that um or float therapy you can research if you want to look up more about that and it does this like whole light show while you're in it you can close the egg if i'm gonna call it an egg you can close the lid to the egg if you want to i usually leave it open um i'm not at that level yet of feeling comfortable enough to like close it but you can um and he wanted me to, the reason why I did that today, I wasn't planning on doing that, but he wanted me to try out this, um, I forget what it's called. It's like a sound, oh, the sound bath. He wanted me to try out a sound bath that he, a sound bath that he had downloaded and had just tried out. And I don't think they're like really, not necessarily offering it, but like a lot of people don't know about it yet. So he wanted me to try that out to see how I liked it. And that was extremely calming. Yesterday I did the um, float for 30 minutes. So today I did it for an hour. Definitely just like 
I cannot describe the feeling of floating like that for that long in salt water. It is just like, you cannot describe the feeling. It is extremely relaxing and I feel really good after doing all of that. Needless to say, I was not planning to do that today, so that took up an extra hour of my time, but I think I mentioned at the beginning of this vlog that today was going to be a little bit of a slower day because work overall has been pretty slow. So all I really needed to do today was the basics, which I do every day, and then after that, anything else that I could get done today would be extra. Um, I wanted to film or record a podcast episode, which I still am planning to do this evening. Um, I wanted to edit that YouTube video, but I'm not sure that I'll get around to that. I could always do that tomorrow. And there's a few other little things that I wanted to do today. So at this point, it's whatever I can get done for the rest of the day is what I can get done. I'm not going to stress about it because all the like necessary things that needed to get done for today are done. So I'm really, really grateful again that I have like a flexible schedule and that I am able to make up my schedule and work um, like the hours that suit me best. And if that's like super early in the morning or super late at night, which that will never be me super late at night, but I'm just grateful for that freedom and flexibility. And that's why I'm in this industry, uh, because that is what I've wanted from day one is the freedom and flexibility to create my own schedule and do things on my terms and when I feel as though it's best to do the things. So I'm going to do like the full body shower, get that over and done with, and then start getting into the evening routine of things. It is borderline a little too close to dinner when I would normally eat dinner to be having like this big of a meal right now. I was just gonna have a snack, but as I told you guys before, I only, I mean, I had a little portion of this exact meal earlier, but I am like shaking and I know that like I need good fuel right now in order to have like enough energy to get me through the rest of this evening. So I probably will just end up having a later dinner. I usually eat dinner around like five, anywhere between five and like 6.30 at the latest. I don't really like to eat after 6 30 when i'm at home during the week because i like to have like some time to unwind and relax have the kitchen be all cleaned up and at seven o'clock i like to really kick start my like nightly routine and like really start to unwind at that point so i want to at that point be on the couch not cleaning up or worrying about dinner or anything like that so that is actually what i'm going to be filming or recording a podcast episode on this evening probably like as i start to unwind for the night i'm going to record a podcast episode doing like a deep dive into my nightly routine um, and things that i do to set myself up for success for the following day so that i can have productive days and days with like room for freedom um like Today was a lot of freedom for sure, but this is not like a usual case. Um, when things start to pick up with work again, it will be a little bit more busy, but still, I definitely do schedule out time throughout my days to have freedom. Um, and setting myself up for success the night before is what allows me to have that freedom the next day um, and to have like a productive day what's overall. So I'm going to go into a deep dive on that episode which will be up this week so hopefully by the time this vlog is up that episode will already be live it should be but i need to figure out the specifics so anyway i'm gonna eat this and do some more work listen to a podcast episode while i do that and i'll catch up with you guys in a little i just finished up my work for the day basically um everything at least that i want it to get done there are still a few things left on my to-do list that i just likely will hit tomorrow um tomorrow should be another light day because i'm still waiting i have a big campaign coming up that i've got to shoot for but i don't think everything will get here until tomorrow so basically until that happens i don't really have much going on uh, so, with that being said, it is now time to podcast, and I'm very excited to jump into today's topic. I am going to just leave it all for the podcast, so again, if you want to listen, I will have 
that episode linked below or I can just link my actual podcast below because I only have a couple of episodes up now so it's not going to be hard to find this one so I podcast using the I think this is yes a blue yeti microphone um and I use audacity to record and edit as of just the last time um I used to use this when I first started podcasting back in like 2020 when my best friend Taylor and I started a podcast for a hot second that didn't last long and then I started going off on my own on this podcast again that didn't last long that was in like 2021 and then I just hadn't podcasted for a while so we are back at it though and I already had the mic I already had the equipment the setup everything ready to go so I'm not really planning on investing in anything fancier in the near future until I know that this becomes a habit that I am going to stick to so which I will mark my words but that's what I use, super easy setup, nothing fancy. I am just like, I'm not a perfectionist by any means and I don't ever wanna label myself as one. So I'd rather just get shit up and get shit done. Um, that's why my podcast is called Making Shit Happen. I'd rather just make shit happen and adjust and perfect it along the way. That's my mentality for doing most of the things that I do in my life. Fuck up and learn from the mistakes and improve along the way. So, let's get to podcasting. I just finished recording that episode. I think it went really well. <sighs> but I think I'm pooped in terms of like talking for that much or that long. I don't usually record or like do anything that requires me to talk a lot at this hour of the night. So usually I'm just by myself at this hour and everything is completely mute. And I'm a little tired just from talking. Uh, so anyway, that's literally so ridiculous, but I'm going to heat up. <laughs> I'm going to heat up. I'm literally making such a mess over here. I'm going to heat up some soup. I made white chicken tortilla soup. Uh, I think it was like Friday night or Saturday night I made it. So I'm going to heat some of this up for dinner. I'm not like really too hungry right now because I had that like later lunch. I mean, I guess I just like really ate late in general today, but... I think it's about six o'clock right now and after I get done eating this I'm literally going to kickstart my whole like night routine like unwind night routine uh, right after I finish this so I think it's gonna be an early night for me tonight I've been addicted to watching House of Cards I just started it like probably a week and a half ago or yeah no I definitely started it like a week ago yeah a week ago was only the first of January I didn't start it that long ago basically and I'm already on season three episode eight I'm an avid binger when I say I watch a lot of tv shows like on Netflix or a lot of movies my boyfriend and I watch a lot of movies like this is what I do in my spare time and especially because I work from home um, when I'm home during the day. If I'm just doing like easier work where I don't need to be paying too, too much attention to like what I'm doing, um, I will literally have House of Cards on in the background. So, and I feel like I don't have to pay attention to every single detail that's going on in House of Cards. So it's an easy show to just have on in the background and like pay attention to it every now and then. Because not every episode is like super, you need to have like your full attention on what you're watching. But anyway, I'm going to probably watch a few episodes of this before I head to bed tonight. I'm going to have my soup and start to unwind. It's currently 6.24, so... I'll have my soup, make some tea, probably eat some ice cream. I have ice cream Jenny's in the freezer. Kind of craving that right now, so we'll probably do that right after I'm done eating dinner, cleaning up the kitchen, and I'm going to sit my ass on the couch and just veg for the rest of the night. So, not much else going on here, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. 
I honestly don't know what the point of today's video was, but I hope you found some sort of entertainment in watching it. Or maybe you used this video as background noise for your work from home day. I don't know. If you made it this far in the video, maybe leave a comment letting me know like what kind of videos you want me to post moving forward. If there are any specific types of videos you want me to post or topics you want me to hit on. I don't know. Alright, I love you guys and I will talk to you in the next video.